Hey guys, welcome back. Joe here. So, today we've got the oatmeal stout ready for a tasting. Um, it has been about about two and a half weeks since we bottled it, so um, it should be good to do a taste testing and see how well carbonation is coming along. Like I said, being a stout, you know, they're not really... Um, they're not really very carbonated, so I'm not too worried about it if it's if it's not fizzing. You know, in fact, that'd probably be bad because stout isn't supposed to fizz. <laughs> um, I would usually have the camera pointing the exact opposite direction into my brew corner with all the all the fabric, you know, and all the storage there. But it's a bit of a mess right now. We did a bit of brewing this weekend. That video will be coming soon. And um, so now you're looking back where the camera usually sits. And this is where I do like my editing and uh, I write my own music. And so I've got all my setup here and my computer and all kinds of other junk there. And uh, beautiful brick wall. This is uh, probably the thing I'm going to miss the most when we move to our new apartment. The uh, new place doesn't have this beautiful exposed brick. So I'm enjoying it while I have it. So let's get to this. Oatmeal stout. Um, from Midwest Supplies. Oh, good hiss. We got some smoke going on. That's cool. Smells good. Well, when I was pouring it there, I didn't think it would develop much of a head because it wasn't doing much, but right at the end there, some nice uh, carbonation released, and it made that nice head there. So you can see, it's so black you can't even see through it. It's actually pretty light on the nose. Um, this is the kit that had no aroma hop addition. It was only um, a bittering hop addition. And you can tell that by smelling it. You can pick up the faint hoppiness, but there's nothing, um, there's not a really strong hop smell at all. It smells really good though, so here we go. Cheers guys. Okay, um, I can see why taking up brewing was the best choice I could have ever done. <laughs> this is awesome. Um, there's actually more carbonation in it than I thought. I'm burping. Um, it usually doesn't happen <laughs> uh, with a stout, but um, it's got a great, great light smell to it. The flavor is is very good. It's got that really nice roasted dark flavor to it. Um, it's definitely got that uh, oatmeal stout sort of how it, it, it's got a, like a chewiness almost to it. It's a very, very heavy, heavy drink. You can definitely taste the grains. You can taste the, um, uh, a light hop note. It's not uh, hoppy at all. Well, it's hoppy for a, uh, a beer. Obviously, beers have hops in them, but um, for a stout, it's spot on. It's not uh, overly hoppy at all. So just that bittering hop was kind of a, a good good choice. Um, I don't know how this would be actually with a, an aroma hop, but it tastes great. It's got a very whole flavor. Um, if you if you like dark beers, uh, definitely brew this one. Two two thumbs up. <laughs> uh, so this is the oatmeal stout kit from Midwest Supplies. Um, this is that mini mash style where you've got like the specialty grains, and then I think it was like six pounds of liquid uh, dark dry, uh, liquid dark liquid malt extract. There we go. <laughs> um, 
And I brewed this one just with the regular, um, the Muntins yeast that comes with the kits, um, the dry yeast, so. Very good, very good. It's almost like a meal in a, uh, in a glass. Very, very heavy. Um, you can actually see there's bubbles rising. I don't know if you can see that there. But um, this is actually carbonated incredibly well for, uh, you know, two and a half weeks. Um, I'm going to let the rest of the batch sit for another week or so before I crack another bottle, more than likely, so that um, the flavors can develop. I did know that the, or did notice from the Irish stout that the the flavor really developed nicely as it sat and conditioned in the bottle. So I bet this is going to get phenomenal with a, with a little bit of age on it. Um, my Irish stouts now are at about... Um, about two months of sitting in the uh, bottle, and um, <laughs> I have one bottle left, and it's sad because they're so they were so good at the end of it. So uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold off on probably the rest of these, so that way I can enjoy them, you know, at their their peak flavor. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this one, Oatmeal Stout Kit. Um, if you like dark beers, you're gonna love it. It's like a it's the oatmeal cookie without the sweetness. It's got that nice oaty sort of flavor to it, um, but with that really, really awesome stout kick to it. Alrighty. Well, we should be doing the uh, Ed May Ale tasting, the IPA, pretty soon. So, uh, until then, we'll see you guys around. Cheers. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.